Hello everyone! This is my first episode of a little series I'm gonna do called The Reluctant Chef. The only things I cook is anything that I can find online that's really quick and easy. That's really quick and easy. I don't like cooking and I don't have very good cooking utensils so it makes it even harder. Like my knives, so dull. We're gonna do a super easy meal that I've made before. Let me look it up and then we'll go from there and see what happens. And I think it's chicken pesto spaghetti squash. And I never can find the same recipe every time so I end up using like a bunch of different recipes. And it turns out okay for the most part, I mean. Um, you have to scroll through all the bullshit until you get to the actual recipe. You roast the squash. Apparently you can do this a day ahead of time. Um, I didn't do that, so we're gonna do that. This is supposed to take 50 minutes in total. This recipe is Whole30 and Paleo approved and low carb. I actually do really, it's pretty tasty, I like it a lot. Um, this recommends that you use three-fourths to one cup of your favorite paleo or Whole30 pesto recipe. So like you have to make your own pesto and I'm not about to do that. So I, do I even have pesto? Do I have chicken? I might need to go to the store. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go to the store. Refrigerate after opening. Best if used by date on cap. Okay, what's on the cap? July 25th. Hey! So one medium to medium large spaghetti squash. One and a half pounds of boneless skinless chicken breast, thin sliced or pounded to one half inch thickness. I have never done that. I'm not gonna do that. Usually I just like bake it in the oven and I shred it up. That seems a lot easier. I don't know, should I saute the chicken? No, that's stupid. So I'm gonna go to the store to get chicken, some more pesto, and I'm gonna Google if I need to buy a new spaghetti squash or not. I can just cut this up now. So I have my super dull knife. Okay. This is always really difficult. This seems really dangerous. Like, is this for real? This isn't gonna cut this spaghetti. This isn't gonna cut it. This isn't gonna cut it. This is insane. The knife is literally bending in my hands. Okay, so I'm gonna buy a knife while I'm at the store too. This is why I hate cooking. Let me try a different knife really quickly before I get ahead of myself. Oh, this might work, guys. This is so dangerous. <gasps> Now I've been stuck in my squash. <gasps> I should not cook. This is ridiculous. Do you see? Do you guys see this? Okay, I'm buying a knife. And I'll be right back with some supplies to make dinner. This is so much work. I can't believe this. Okay, I'm back now. And that was such a stressful trip to the grocery store. I need to open up this knife. Oh, that was way too smooth. Ha! I have a knife. Anyways, let's get back to this baby right here. Ready? Let's hope it works, people. My gosh. Why is this so freaking hard? Okay, okay, okay. This is insane, this is insane. How do people do this? Okay, <sighs> I'm just terrified. Okay, now this knife is like actually stuck in here. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit, how long is this taking me? Oh. Okay, we're through. It looks a little dry in there, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, do you see? I almost just cut my finger on the knife. <laughs> so now 
I really don't want to do this now. I really just want to stop and order food. All right, we're just going to start scooping it out. I'm going to put it into a bowl because I don't know what else to do with it right now. Here, we'll put it in this Tupperware container. I'm going to just get rid of all these bags. Okay, we're just keep moving, keep moving. All right, so now we're just going to start scooping out the insides. Okay, I think that is like getting it. So now I'm putting them into this bowl. Moving along, moving along. Oh, I, I didn't preheat the oven. So then you take a pan. We're gonna line that with aluminum foil. Cause I wanna wash this pan. I hope this turns out okay, because this is really irritating. I'm so hungry. This is gonna take me so long. I'm not gonna eat until so much later. Oh my god. Seeds are getting everywhere. Next, we're going to season the squash. Okay, so now I'm going to grab some salt and pepper and olive oil. Where is that? There? God, it's so loud. I have like no pepper in here. All right, that's good enough. This is terrifying. I'm totally gonna use too much, but we're just gonna see. Okay, that was too much. Just a teeny tiny. Okay, too much again. <laughs> the sticker is still in the squash. I wonder if that would have caught on fire. Um, all right, that's just gonna have to do. Whew. All right, and the oven is preheated. That kind of worked out well. Um, okay, cut the squash in half lengthwise using a large sharp knife. Check. Scoop out the seeds and the strings. Roast in the oven at 425 for about 20 minutes or until the squash can be pushed from the outside a bit with your finger. Once you remove the squash, lower the oven to 400 degrees. Okay, um, I'm going to put this in the oven. Okay, now I'm going to move on to the chicken part. This piece of chicken is huge. Look at that. So I'm going to grab something to bake these in. Oh my god, I thought that was a bug. What is that? All right. Whew. Now, I'm not gonna use my hands anymore because that's kind of gross to me, so. All right, too much olive oil. Good. I'm gonna use the tiniest bit of pepper ever. All right, whatever. This is gonna be some bland chicken. Oh, shh. Too much salt. Gotta find out if chicken can be baked at 425. Yeah. 22 to 25 minutes. I didn't set a timer. It's been about 10 minutes, I would say. This is not going well. Okay guys, time to take the spaghetti squash out of the oven. It's been a little bit over the designated time, but I think it'll be fine. Um, that's so hot. Oh my god. I'm just gonna take it out. I think it's fine. Okay. Spaghetti squash is out of the oven. I'm gonna let it cool because it's ridiculously hot. It takes so long for it to cool and then you're like waiting forever and you're starving. guys look at that nice shred it's so hot ow ow okay this is taking so long <sighs> look at all that guys look at all that spaghetti squash it looks so good all right chicken is next i need to turn the oven off crap It's cooked! It's 
this chicken is cooked so well. Now that is a super bland pizza chicken. Okay. So let me just finish cutting up this chicken and then we'll do the grand finale. Oh wait, I wasn't supposed to turn the freaking oven off. I was supposed to turn it down to 400. I hate cooking. I'm so hungry now. Actually, I'm really not now that I think about it. We're almost to the final steps here, guys. Okay, I think I, I think that's enough chicken right there. All right, final. Well, no, this is not actually the final step, which is really upsetting. Oh, that smells normal. Toss that a little bit. Get it. Oh, shoot. Mm. It's so good. This is the final step here, guys. We're gonna transfer this giant bowl of chicken pesto and spaghetti squash into this little tray. Oh, okay. Here we go. Pesto spaghetti squash is in this 10 minutes in the oven and then I can eat. All right, you guys, time for the moment of truth. Okay, now I'm gonna taste it. Okay. My legs hurt from standing. Uh, I'm really not that hungry now. I feel like I'm, ow! It's hot, it's a hot pan. Need a little piece of chicken in there. Mm hmm That's fire. Anybody can cook. If you hate it though, I get it, because I hated every second of doing that. That was terrible. That was like the worst. Oh my god, like two hours, two and a half hours of my life. That's really quick and easy. My feet hurt, my knees hurt, my back hurts. I'm ready to take my plate onto the couch and watch some Judge Judy. All right guys, so that's it. Um, that was terrible, I'm ready to go eat. And if you enjoyed this video and if you stuck it out to the end, thank you. I appreciate that. If you really enjoyed it and you thought I was funny, just please hit that like button so that I feel validated and um, maybe subscribe, I don't know. So yeah, thanks guys. See you next time. Who knows what, what's gonna happen next, I don't know.